Okay, let's look at one of the questions that, that uh, I think there was actually one person that got it right. Okay, so congratulations to whoever that was. I don't know who you are anymore. Okay, but let's have a look at how would I have done this question. They ask us to simplify this expression. Okay, now when we see square roots, there's one of two things you can do to simplify it. One is you can write it with, with in, in terms of exponents. You can write it in exponents and see if you can use the exponential laws. In this case, if I want to simplify this, I would the, the only way I could think of was to take it and make it equal to a. So let's look at a. A is equal to this thing. Okay? The square root of 4 plus the square root of 7 uh, minus the square root of or minus the square root of 7. Now, if you pimp, uh, punched it in into your calculator, you could have gotten an answer. And that answer, I think, is 1, 1, 4, what, 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 what. Okay. Now, if you knew, if you recognized that number, you would have recognized it's the square root of 2. So the answer is square root of 2. I think so. Square root of 3. I can't remember the answer now. Okay. But then... Um, so in other words, there must be a way to simplify this thing so I can get the square root of 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to square both sides. Okay? I'm going to square both sides. So I'm going to say, okay, then a square is equal to, and on this side I'm going to, going to put a bracket and I'm going to multiply it by itself. So I'm squaring both sides and I'm multiplying by itself. So in other words, I'm going to multiply this bracket by itself. The square root of, uh, the square, a square root squared cancels, isn't it? So this square root, if I'm going to multiply this whole square root by itself, it's going to cancel. So I'm going to get 4 plus square root of 7. Then minus. Now remember, if I've got two terms in there, the middle term would be this term times that term. Remember? Okay, so uh, let me do that for you. If I've got a plus B and I square it it is A squared plus then the middle term here is A times B those two multiply to each other but there's going to be another one B times A and B times A can also be A times B so there's going to be two of them plus B squared okay so that's what I'm doing here so this middle is going to be 2 times, and then these two brackets multiply together, these two fractions multiply together. So the square root of 4 plus square root 7 multiplied by square root 4 minus square root 7. And then my final term is just this last term squared. In other words, minus this thing, sorry, if there's a negative, just remember that could be a negative, but the back one will still be positive. Okay, so it will be plus the last term squared, and the last term was the square root of 4 over minus 7. So it is just 4 minus square root 7. Okay, so I'm just going to simplify. So a squared, a squared is so far, I've got a 4 there, plus a 4 there, so that's 8. And I've dealt with the 4s. Then I've got a plus square root 7. And here I've got a minus square root 7. So they cancel. Those two cancel. Then I must, so now I've got this minus 2, and I must simplify this bracket here. Those two brackets multiply together. Now when you multiply two square roots with each other, you're allowed to multiply the insides. Okay? They don't cancel. They only cancel if the insides were the same thing. Okay? This time it's not the same thing. So actually, I get now the square root, a big square root, and underneath I get the inside. 4 plus square root.
square root 7, 4 minus square root 7. It's a beautiful question, by the way. If, if you can appreciate something like that. Huh? Okay, we'll continue to simplify. What do you notice here? Those two brackets. Beautiful, the difference of two squares. So I get 8 minus 2, and then in underneath the square root, this is the difference of 2 squared. So it's 4 squared, which is 16, minus, because it's the difference of 2 squares, which means it's subtract, minus the square of the square root, which is just whatever is inside. So square root of 7 squared is just 7. 16 minus 7 is? So 16 minus 7 is 9. So I've got the square root of 9 in here. What is the square root of 9? 3. So I've got 8 minus 2 times 3, which is 6. 8 minus 6 is? 2. This is what I think is beautiful mathematics because look, we went from a complicated thing up there to a very simple answer of 2. But let's just continue a little bit further because what is equal to 2? A squared. A squared is equal to 2. Okay? A. Which means A is equal to the square root of 2. Shouldn't it be plus minus the square root of 2? Shouldn't it be plus minus the square root of 2? When would it have been negative? It could have been negative if these two were swapped around. Because which one of these two is the biggest, biggest one? The first one, because there's a plus in between. None of them can be negative. So this one would have been smaller than that one. In other words, if I take a big number and minus a smaller number, I get a positive number. So my answer in the end should be plus minus, but the negative could, could have been ignored. Okay, difficult question. I, I definitely say so. I struggled with it myself. When I saw it, I was so upset with the department. I'm like, I can't even do this. How can they give it to you? And uh, it, just, it just took some time for me to think about it.